Hello everybody, Shift here again with another Paper Planet run. And today I'm gonna be doing a run with the Plane Planet, my beloved one, because why not? It has been a long day. I know you wanted to see other planets, but I want to rotate through all of them, and this is one of my most liked ones. So today we're gonna play Plane Planet, and maybe tomorrow we're gonna go Pyro Planet again, because that's also a pretty awesome planet. I would say so myself. So uh, let's start shooting. Let's see what this run's gonna be today. Oh, we found a spear really early. Three damage, now three damage per zone. So that's a nice upgrade. Triple damage if you don't do gain a body that shields. That's nice. And three charge time. All bullets chase the charge bullet. No, no, no. We're gonna go with just straight up damage. Let's go with straight up damage. Three damage, now three damage per wave. That's nice. Nice, 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 nice. We got three damage out of that. Um, I think there are only two items that are really, really good to get first. One is the spear that I just got, and then the other one is like the dragon egg. There is a dragon egg that says you get plus one damage for each item pickup after you pick up the dragon egg. Um, includes itself. And uh, if you get that item first, you obviously also have a very good run going. As you do pick up about 15 to 20 items throughout the run. So it's like 20 item, 20 damage, which is a lot, by the way. Same goes with spear. Bullets move and burst instead of continuously and will target nearby enemies. I could go for a frog build. Or I could just go for the damage now. You know what? I would say gain a body that gives nearby bodies fire rate and damage. You know what? We're gonna get damage. Early game. Early game, in my opinion, you should always go with stats. And then late game, you should go with unique stuff. I, I have read some comments that are like, stop picking up stats all the time. And uh, that's a fair assessment. It's a fair comment. But also, I'm trying to pick up stats early so that I have a base of operation and then I can see what the build is going to be instead of, you know, just picking up the frog thing that does literally nothing early game. And uh, yeah, we want to get this. In case you haven't seen the game ever before, the game is a pretty simple protect your planet shooter. You want to protect your planet from pretty much everything. And then if it's uh, other than yellow bullets, yellow bullets don't do anything to the planet. And then red bullets uh, destroy the planet too. Yellow bullets are trying to hit you. I, I mix this up. So yellow bullets, you avoid and allow the plant to absorb them. And red bullets, you block and I'll protect the plant from. So whole milk, one of the better items in the game. Triple damage, five times piercing, lose fire rate and lose bullet speed. But that doesn't matter. We're going to get the fire rate back somehow. The damage is insane. The triple damage is insane. Five times piercing is also insane. Bullet speed's pretty bad, but we're going to take it. Here we found attack speed and even less bullet speed. This is going to make the bullets literally not move. Double shielding, I don't care. So uh, let's see how this... Today we're going to have the slowest b bullets in the city. It's going to be big shots. Big shots the build. Look at this. Very slow but very deadly. Is what I would say. Super duper deadly to be honest. I already have 66 damage without anything that even gives me... I mean no, we have whole milk. I was about to say without anything giving me a crazy multiplier. But we have the whole milk. Uh, now of course my attack speed is pretty slow, but that's okay. We can definitely fix that. Let's see how fast we destroy this boss. Because if we destroy this before it shoots a laser, then we are good. Now I am playing with a challenge that makes the bosses have a defense shield early game. So I'm not exactly sure when this defense shield is gonna go down or not. There is no indication really. I think it's already down and boss is about to laser us down. And we won. Easy enough. So we are pretty powerful. Although I'm not sure how good we are at clearing opponents. Let's hope we're gonna get some. Oh, shop half prices. This is like one of the best items in the game. Stats give you more stats. Teleporting causes your bullets to reverse direction. That means when I blink, bullets gain damage multiplier based on their current velocity. Well, this is useless for us. <laughs> we're gonna go with money. So now I can literally buy everything from a shop. That's one of my most liked items, by the way. Because the shop sometimes is selling like four or five items. Uh, five, I mean, pretty rare. But sometimes it is selling more than one item. And more than two items actually it always sells two items and you're supposed to always have money to buy two items uh, sometimes you know some items are a bit too expensive to buy two of them but other than that you should be able to buy a lot of items now i definitely want attack speed definitely and bullet speed definitely although although to be completely honest oh we found something i found control your bullets i like this i like this Fire rate, speed, bullet speed, that could be really, really helpful. Actually, this really fits. This really, really, really fits. I have took, I have taken the remote controller a lot of times. Bullets accelerate towards your Christmas. I mean, this is, you just loop around with your bullets. But we're going to have slow bullets. But this breaks bosses completely. This is just a useful thing. Let's go with just breaking the game completely. Let's go with just having tracking bullets. Oh, they go pretty fast. Ooh, ooh, yes. This was a very good decision. This was a very, very good decision. They go a lot faster than what they used to do previously. So that's nice. Look at this. We have the death tornado of death. 
So now the next thing I would like to get would be... What do I want next? I would like to get, first of all, faster bullets for sure. And actually more attack speed for sure. I want to get, as I always do, you know, I have said this a lot of times. I want to get my bullets go through the planet. Because this is like the best thing you can get with a remote controller. If your bullets go through the planets while you have remote controller, it's over. You can literally just control everything. Now, the good thing with the way we're playing this with a controller is that we're not destroying all the opponents at the same time. So we do have a little bit of time with um, blocking the yellow bullets, the red bullets actually, or in general not spawning that many bullets at the same time, because that's really important in this game, not spawning too much stuff all at the same time. These blue guys always break my combo. Got him! Maintain my combo really nice. Okay, I should be able to buy everything here. So, fire rate and even less bullet speed, <laughs> I'll accept that. And more piercing, yes, and I would say even shielding, because now I got the money, and now I'm gonna be safe against losing from curses. So, why are my bullets colored? I didn't get anything that should make them colored. Give me a second. Oh, spray paint. <laughs> Does it say anything? Fire rate up, bullet speed down. But it doesn't say that it also paints them. <laughs> I do enjoy the idea of them painting. And I also enjoy this very slow and steady approach of the death coming closer. I, I really love how we have slow shooting bullets and not fast shooting bullets because I've done this a lot of times and you know most of the time we have god bullets running around like crazy and I do enjoy having sometimes something slow, something different which is nice. Let's see how we're gonna deal with the bosses. Now the reason why this most of the time destroys bosses is because we have the whole milk. If it wasn't for the whole milk this would not be as busted but because I have the whole milk which is five piercing um, I literally can, you know, charge him up and then hit him, go over there. Like, one bullet can hit the same opponent five and six times, and that's why bosses melt. Otherwise, we would not be melting bosses. Okay, I found the almond milk, which is the other half of what I want. So, I th charge shot, I don't care about this, we have very low attack speed, healing, each eight waves, and claw attack, who cares? Gain a body that orbits your planet and shoots homing bullets at one third of your damage. Uh, honestly, I want fire rate. Both milk is com perfect milk because this gives you triple damage. This uh, you lose one third of your damage, so that balances out. And then this gives you five piercing. This do not does not remove piercing. This halves your attack speed. This gives you four time attack speed. So th um, the net positive is double attack speed. And then this makes your bullets a bit slower. And the other one doesn't fix that. So I pretty much. I have no damage boost, but I get double attack speed boost and 5 piercing for the trade-off of a bit of bullet speed. So, I think we're gonna go with the almond milk. In my opinion, the, the double milk combo is always the best. Yeah, I know we lost like a huge amount... Wait, we lost... Yeah, we lost a huge amount of damage. But, um... We now have a lot more bullets. I'm not sure if that was a correct decision. I think it was the correct decision. I mean, if I didn't think it was the correct decision, I would not have done it. I think it is the correct decision, because that should increase the DPS on average. What is this? Your bullets will accelerate towards enemies. That's useless at this point. Spawns two extra shops at the pedestal. Perfect. Although I, I see the buddy here, but obviously we're going for a shop build, man. Two more pedestals. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And my attack speed is now also fixed, so that's nice to see. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. Now we have crazy piercing. Now we have the fixed attack speed. We are really good to go. Whoop, block, block. I really enjoy that I can also control the bullets while I'm blocking. That's some, something I really should learn doing. Uh, let's hope the shop is gonna sell. As I previously mentioned, uh, bullets go up, bullets go through the planet. Because that's literally the best thing we can possibly get. Nice, you go there. Bye bye, you. Whoop, splash through them, splash through them. It's like a little, it's a, like a Reaper Scythe coming around and just. You are there, you... It just goes around and just cleaves everything. Slowly but surely. <laughs> and there is like some kind of emptiness when the, some bullets go through the planet. <laughs> but otherwise, it's just... Oh no, the blue the blue planes. The planes that literally break the combo. The combo breakers. Let's go. No, don't combo break me. Boom, boom, boom. Got him. Got him too. Nice loop around. It's literally like a big scythe coming around and just clearing out everything. I love it. I love it. And that's because of the piercing. Here I should be able to buy everything. Ooh. We got damage. Plus three damage. Again? Okay. Fair enough. We just beat the double boss. We have like three or four more zones. I wasn't even in the plant zone. So we definitely take this. 
Lose fire rate gives you fire rate and accuracy multiplier that is stronger the longer you're firing up up to triple fire rate. We obviously take this. At this point, I would I would if I could throw away the milk, the small milk, I would have if I could have, because now I fix my attack speed like crazy. Uh, even more fire rate and inaccuracy and bullet weirdness. Yes, why not? And let's go. We don't need anything else. Okay, so now we got even more attack speed, and my bullets have different speeds, um, and we also start shooting very 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 crazy. I also, it seems like my bullets disappear literally when I destroy opponents because of the game's mechanic. The game has a really nice mechanic where it hides all your bullets if uh, opponent's bullets are there because of visibility issues, which is really, really good in my opinion. Let's go there. No, 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 no. These guys are trying to break my combo. They didn't. And now let's fight the third boss. The flame boss. Let's see how good we deal against this. I mean, this boss is literally useless against us, and we won. Very nice. Whoop, with my little armada of color, but look at how awesome and pretty they look. The prettiest build ever. Ooh, a buddy that makes my bullet split into seven. Or piercing and bullet speed. Has the time come for bullet speed? Oh no, who cares about bullet speed? We're gonna go with multiple bullets. So now I'm gonna be trying to be on top of this thing so that it multiplies my bullets even more. So we have a lot of them. Once again, could go for bullet speed. Could have gone for bullet speed. If opponents are not on the screen, I just literally go with my bullets through the prism. Now that I'm thinking about... I should have... Okay, if we're talking about min-maxing and actually always winning, I should have definitely went with a bullet speed. But if we're talking about having fun, I definitely want this multiple bullets, even though they don't really help me in any way, shape, or form because they don't really do anything. Uh, they Actually, they will help me with bosses, obviously. But other than that, it's nothing that they could help me with. <laughs> Bullet is incoming. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Look at this. I should definitely get used to controlling my bullets while blocking red shots because this is the one thing that this is supposed to be good at doing, right? The remote controller. The one thing it's extremely good at doing is you can block red bullets or avoid yellow bullets for that matter while also attacking the opponents at the same time because your bullets are midair and you don't need to specifically care where you are in comparison to the enemies as you can control those bullets bye bye so these guys are on hit or on death shoot out a thing okay here is the good chance for us to showcase what i was just mentioning about the controlling the bullets while also shooting opponents down very nice split opponents and zigzag opponents we're not gonna allow any of these to do anything it's nice. So most of the time we are just destroying every single thing on the screen every single second. Today is not the day. Today we're playing this slow and steady. Slow and steady. Nice. Gain 20 movement speed, gain fading damage multiplier that increase every time your bullets hit an enemy. I do enjoy this. Gain movement speed. Gain a body that makes other bodies better. And max health and attack speed. Lose one, max health and gain attack speed. I'm gonna get the bullets hit an enemy gain damage multiplier. Get the movement speed, get the body. We still have the shield anyway, and we also have even more money. <laughs> we are super duper rich and busted. Okay, so that buddy, buddy that goes around very fast um, blocks, blocks bullets. So that's nice. That's nice because now we have something that can protect us from random red shots or yellow shots for that matter. I hope the shop is going to sell something that gives my bullets movement speed. Because right now we're shooting very... I mean, we are not shooting slow. I'm shooting very fast, but... My uh, bullets themselves are pretty slow, is what I tried to say. Okay, trying to protect here boss time. Charging up my laser. Fire! Trrr. Boss almost died. Trrr. Boss is dead. <laughs> Charging up my laser. <laughs> uh, a bunch of money. We don't need money. We already have the shop super cheap. Your bullets will accelerate towards enemies in a small radius. That's useless for us. Gain fire rate and damage, lose bullet speed, even less bullet speed or more bullet speed. You know what? I literally asked for bullet speed. Although the game just gave us more damage and attacks, I'm gonna accept what I asked for. I'm gonna accept what I asked for. So now we got fast bullets. Nice. Nice. It's not that much faster. I mean, they are definitely faster, don't get me wrong. But it is at the speed which I enjoy it. We need, I, I, I should really be close to planet now. Because these yellow opponents with the laser definitely hit you if you are away from the planet. As they never hit exactly on your face. They always hit away from the planet. Whoa, flames. Fluff, 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 flame. Imagine with a plane planet getting hit by flames. <laughs> what a noob. Block here. 
shoot the loop de loop go around very nice good shots good shots hey snake bye bye you Whoop, and bye bye you guys. Would be nice if I had some kind of buddy that shot bullets towards opponents or something so that I don't have to deal with losing the combo. But it's okay. <laughs> I got how many bullets we have. Ooh, loop them around, loop them around. More opponents over there. Loop them around again. Blood some red shots. Uh, block some red shots. And shoot some yellows down. Ooh, ooh. Nice, 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 nice. Love it. Let's go close again. It feels like laser body is about to appear. Nope. And we have a lot of money, obviously. This is your fire rate. First of all, bullets bounce off the edge of the visibility rate. This is pretty useless the way we're playing. Removes the speed cap. Your speed increases the longer you move up to double. Fire rate increases the higher your speed is. Piercing. Bullets will accelerate the direction they're facing indefinitely. Does this win or does the control your bullets win? Bullets will gain damage based on velocity. Okay, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. This is bullets bounce off the edge. This is useless. It doesn't do anything for us. I'm gonna definitely buy this. I will get this though in case... Yeah, we'll get this. Because why not? Why not risk my life for something that most likely doesn't even do anything? And I just lost my shield. So now we are at death's door. Because I got the curse for no reason. The bouncing bullets do actually do something. I take back what I previously said. And what they do is they control... The, they make the controller work better is the easiest and fastest explanation as to what exactly they do. Okay, charging up my laser and destroying the boss before he even hits us. Oh no, that's not the boss. <laughs> you thought I'm gonna get hit there? Look at this armada of bullets we have going on. Ooh, grants damage, fire rate speed and bullet speed based on how many bullets are on the screen. Obviously we have infinite bullets on the screen, so we take that and let's go. Instantly get millions of bullets. And now we have five waves of survival. Let's please not lose out of the blue here. I'm super duper afraid about random shots just destroying us. But now we cover the whole screen as we always do. Wow, my dash was the fastest dash I ever seen in my life. Come on, one more kill. The whole screen is full, by the way, with my bullets. The only thing that is... Like, the only thing that's visible is are my bullets. It's either my bullets or nothing. Yep, at this point, magnet... Like, the control of bullets no longer matters. As you see, the bouncing does actually do something now. We have zero control over the bullets. We have zero control over everything. Uh, and we have the buddy that blocks red bullets. Or at least supposedly does so. Whoop, because he didn't do that. Wow. Wow. Like, the whole screen clears from bullets the moment yellow shots come in because of the how the mechanic works. What is this? Gain 5 damage. Whenever your bullet hits an enemy, nearby enemies are the same type. Take the damage. Mm, I don't care about this. First of all, we're going to get the shield. We have enough money for everything. So let's get the shield. Uh, bullets close to my planet get slowed down. Bullets home in on where the curse is when you fire them. That's useless. All fire bullets spawn from the cursor instead of the current barrel. That's also useless. All of these are useless. 5 damage. I guess 5 damage. Straight up. We just get the 5 damage. I get the curse. I'm accepting that if the boss hits me twice we lose. Because we're closing to the boss stage. Closing in on the boss stage here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna accept the loss if we get hit twice. It is what it is. I, I, I take my risks. I take my gamble. Let's see how fast the boss is gonna melt, because I think we have good enough bullets here to literally cover everything. And the boss should melt instantly. Okay, boss is losing a lot of life very quickly. He does the hardest pattern right away. And is there a single piece left? There's some kind of piece left. No longer, though. We got him. We got him, boys. Now he's gonna go above. He's gonna do the charging up my laser. I love the pattern, by the way. And then it's gonna do the Ganondorf maneuver, and we win. My question is, can the, the buddy block the Ganondorf on the I'm gonna be here at the very bottom, hoping that the buddy comes along. Oh, the buddy blocked it. I think the buddy blocked it. At least it looked to me that the, the buddy blocked it. It's And the boss is gonna die instantly, by the way, because... There were, yeah, just boom, that <laughs> dead instantly. Instantly. It didn't even loop around us. It died so fast that it didn't give, even get its positioning in time. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. We destroyed this. As a good old recaps, not recaps. Uh, what is the what's the name of the wow 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 guy? Comment down below and tell me so, so we see if we're watching the same content or not. And then the whole comment section is gonna be like a name from another YouTuber, but you know it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Game is still awesome. Uh, not my fault that we got this crazy mad lad build. I did enjoy the early game where we had controlled bullets. Remote control bullets. Yeah, but that was the game. Remote control bullets was today the run. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, we're going to continue keeping these at the 
um, smaller side of the things because, you know, the game is quick and fast and why not just go quick and fast runs. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.